A snowflake starts as a speck of dust or pollen in the air. This little piece of dirt has a long journey ahead of it, but one day it'll be a beautiful snowflake. Step one of his journey is to get high in the sky. There are different ways to do that. Ours is called an updraft, which is caused by warm air. Our little friend here is going to have to make it up 2,000 feet or more until it gets into some clouds, but it makes it. Once in those clouds, it floats around until it bumps into some small water droplets that cling to our little friend. As he moves around with the water, he collects more water and small ice crystals that are also floating around in the clouds. And that's when he turns into a snowflake. Well, almost when he turns into a snowflake. He turns into a snowflake when the water starts to cool and crystallize, which happens when the water molecules no longer have enough energy in them to repel the, the magnetic forces that they each impose upon each other. And that is when the snowflake is born. And when it gets its excitedness. As the snowflake gathers more and more moisture, causing it to grow more and more, it eventually becomes too heavy for the air to support it, which is when it starts to snow out. As the snowflake falls from the clouds, it is still growing larger and larger because the air that it's falling through has still got moisture in it, and that moisture gets attracted to the snowflake. It could also join up with another snowflake and have two of them combined and make it double the size. Sometimes an entire snowstorm will be made up of just really big snowflakes that are comprised of many smaller snowflakes that are all clinked together. And that is the birth of a snowflake.